Christy here with Make Everyday Colorful. Today I'm going to do a book review on two of the Richard Scary books that I have. I have actually a bunch of Richard Scary books. I'm going to put the links below for the other reviews as well. But for the reviews I'm going to do today, this one is What Do People Do All Day? And Chorus Trucks and Things That Go. So I guess I'll just start with this one, Chorus Trucks and Things That Do, That Go. We actually got, this is what started my love for the Richard Scary books, was these two books. So we got them with my um, daughter's preschool curriculum at the time. Um, so anyway, once I saw these books, I just had to order all the other books, right? So I'm going to have the uh, video links for those. So Chorus Trucks and Things That Go. What I love about this book is it labels all the different course but it's also a story so it's about the pig family and they're going on this picnic and they even have silly things in here so obviously they have real like you said it says mail van and he's getting the mail out and a garbage truck and then it has all the flies and stuff but you see it's really silly looking but it's cute so all every page has the vehicles labeled and then another fun thing about this book is there's um, familiar characters on every page. So the story kind of starts on the first page, but then see, this is Officer Flossie and Dingo, and Dingo's ran over the meters. And so now she's going to chase, Off Officer Flossie's going to chase Dingo all throughout the book. Almost every single page, you're going to see Officer Flossie and Dingo. And there's also a little gold bug on all the pages. So you have to look and search for gold bug. And I'm trying to see where he's at on this one. Every page you have to search for him. So I'm going to see him. I'm going to show you. But as I was saying, it shows you, you know, just all the different vehicles. Like a glass truck and a taxi. Um, and some of them are really silly. Like the drugstore truck has a big, you know, drugstore. And, oh, look, Sam's shoe shop. It's a shoe car. So some of them are just silly little vehicles just for fun that aren't realistic but it's still cute like this one there's a pickle truck and there's officer flossy like i was saying officer flossy and she's chasing after dingo and every page just continues on with um the pig family's um adventure and how he's traveling how they're traveling along in the book to go on a picnic See? So it has the tank truck, um, a pickup truck. It even has a unicycle, really tall one. Then we get to the machinery, and it says the pigs pass drive along, uh, pass drive past a lumber camp the lumberjacks are busy getting logs from the trees they have to cut down the log loader truck will take the logs to the sawmill they will be cut into boards of all sizes so houses toys and all kinds of wooden things can be made from them so they're they're learning in the book so it's showing the different vehicles it tells you a little bit about what's going on on each page then of course there's your pig family Oh, bunny rabbit, look out, calls pity pig. Don't get caught by that crane. Super cute. I'm trying to find the gold bug to show you without um, taking too much time trying to find him. He's always hidden. Oh, I found him. So every page, you have to find gold bugs. So on this one, you can barely see him. It's so small. He's in the crane. So every page, there's a gold bug. So there's Officer Flossy again. See her? And there's like a plumbing truck with all the stuff flying out. And a wrecked car being towed. And then a big tow truck, which is being towed by the little tow truck. 
and a pumpkin car. And it just keeps going every page. Different vehicles. Story keeps going on and on. Now we're right here and they're, see all the, um, I think they're building a road in this one if I'm not mistaken. So it's just, yeah, well it shows them laying pipes down. So tractor pipe layer, pipe layer, excavator. So it has all the different vehicles. Oh, look, there's Goldbug in his own little car and his dump truck. See, all the dump trucks are dumping out stuff because, see, Father Rabbit was supposed to be dumping out a wheelbarrow and the Mother Rabbit says, dump it right here. And all the trucks hear her say, dump it right here. So then they all throw all their stuff out. Isn't that cute? More vehicles. So the book just continues going on and on like that. I thought this one was cute too. They all get flat tires because a carpenter goes to the hardware store and gets nails and he drops them and then everybody gets flat tires. Oh no. But Dingo managed to escape. See, also for Officer Flossie's still chasing him, but he managed to escape somehow. Oh, and then I found Goldbug again. So there's Goldbug. I won't show you every page because if you get the book, then you'll probably have fun looking for them yourself. Look at all those vehicles. So they're gonna learn a lot. So this, these books are actually kind of long. So I normally only read a couple pages a day. And since we kind of did it as their schooling, I guess you could say, but we've read it besides just doing school stuff. We normally read probably like four pages a day and I always bookmark it and we go back to it like the next day. So the story just continues on and on. So not to show you every page, because like I said, it is a rather long book. I'll just kind of start flipping through some of them. So it even goes to the farm. Then they're at an airport. Now they finally get to the beach where they're having their picnic. Now they're where there's boats and stuff. Oh, now they're going up icy roads right here. So then it goes into the snow vehicles. Now we're out of the snow, going downhill. Oh, then a big wreck, the biggest wreck you've ever seen. Look, there's Officer Flossie again. And then they get home. And it has the moving vehicle. And Officer finally, fi Officer Flossie finally gets Dingo right here. In. So it says this book is 69 pages. So that's Cars, Trucks, and Things That Go. Now this book I absolutely love too. This one is What Do People Do All Day? This is really educational. So it says Welcome to Busy Town and it starts showing different people that have different occupations like former Alfalfa, the Mayor Fox, um, Wild Bill Hiccup, Smoky, Sparky, and Nozzle, the fire department. And what's really great about this book is it starts to teach children about jobs or how people have to work all day. 
And it shows some people work inside and some people work outside. Some people travel, some people go to the same place every day. Everyone is a worker, so it's showing the different workers again. So it starts, um, this is former Alfalfa, and it talks about him being a former and how he has to take care of, you know, plants and sell them and bring it to the bank. And from what he sold, he pays uh, former Alfalfa for a new suit, and then, so then, it, you know, it carries on. So for, so the grocer, I'm sorry, former alfalfa pays um, grocer cat, uh, gets money from grocer cat, so because he sold his produce. Then he goes to Stitches to Taylor, and Stitches gets paid, and then he also pays um, the blacksmith fox for a new tractor. So alfalfa puts the rest of the money in the bank. What did the other workers do with all the money they earned? So first they bought food to eat and clothes to wear. And then they put some money in the bank and later they used the money to buy other things. So for instance, um, Stitches bought an egg beater so the family could make fun. So that's what he did with some of the money that he got. And the blacksmith fox bought more iron for his shop. So with the money he got paid, he was able to buy more iron to make more things to get paid with. And Grocer Cat bought a new dress for Mommy. So, just showing how the money goes. Now, this is really cool, too. Building a house. And it even starts showing how they're digging up um, the land. Wherever they're about to do the slab. So, it just goes through and shows all the parts of doing a house so you know they're building the frame they're putting in the plumbing they're putting on the outside walls they put in the electricity they're having to paint and hang sheetrock now they're delivering all the appliances then they have to pay so he has to pay all the workers for building his house and then they move in him and his whole huge family then mailing a letter and it goes through the steps of mailing a letter. Betsy Bear wrote a letter to grandma to wish her happy birthday. It shows them bringing it to the post office. And it shows kind of what goes on in the post office. Then how the mail has to get flown to another place. Then the mail, then it gets sorted at that post office and the mail carrier carries the letters and he goes to grandma's to deliver the letter. Mother's work is never done. Now, this is one of my favorites because all of us moms know our work is never done. So, it shows mom getting up early and she has to get out breakfast made and get everybody out the door or husband out the door and her kids are here. So, they have to help her clean and she cleans and cleans and cleans and then they have to go to the grocery store and look all the groceries. Then they come back and they make sandwiches for lunch and then she has a salesman come to the door trying to sell her everything and then she has to wash some dirty clothes and then she has to cook supper and so then they all eat then she has to bathe the little pigs she reads them a bedtime story gets them in bed <laughs> And then it shows the bed breaking. And guess where the little pigs end up spending the night with? Mommy and Daddy sleeping comfortably right there. Isn't that funny? A voyage on a ship. So it goes about all voyages. So as you can see, each page has different occupations and what goes on with those occupations. on the ship let's see what other ones they have in here sergeant murphy of busy town police department so it shows sergeant murphy and then basically what happens during his night shift or maybe it's his day shift i don't know <laughs> his busy day as being a police officer fireman to the rescue so this is a firefighters 
and then it kind of talks a little bit about the different trucks and how they're going to pump water to put out the fire. And shows them having to rescue someone. Then it goes on to a visit to the hospital. So as you can see, just occupation after occupation, then a train trip. What happens when you go on the train trip? And this is one of the trains where you, you're sleeping on it, so they're even eating um, dinner on there. Then the story of seeds and how they grow. So it's showing former alfalfa again and how he's growing his seed and how he keeps seeds for next harvest, how he sells them. And then one of the little pigs keeps a seed and grows his own corn. Then an airplane ride. So we're at an airport now. wood and how we use it. So it shows them going to the forest, cutting down trees, floating the logs along the river, getting to the sawmill, how they cut down the, uh, the wood into boards and such. And then it shows how some of the scrap wood is made into paper and how some trees are good for growing fruit. Then we go into digging coal to make electricity work for us. So, like I said, they cover a lot of different occupations and they kind of give you an idea of how things work through a story, which is super cool. Educational. Building a new road. So we go through how to make a new road. And I've even pointed out to my kids, like, we'll be in the core and I'll be like, and you know, there's always road construction. It seems like, I'm like, hey, look at that, you know, excavator look at what they're doing see how they're uh mixing uh they have a cement truck and it's turning to mix all the cement so they can put it on the road and you know so i bring the education beyond the book you know when we're out and about i point out things cotton and how we use it and you can tell my book's got some love and on it my two-year-old accidentally tore the bait. So they're sewing cotton, how they weave it into fabric to make clothing out of it. And then where does bread come from? So, you know, you got to get the wheat and get the grain and mill it to make the flour. And then it shows them how they're baking bread and putting yeast and everything. And I think it's some, a little, I forgot which one it is. Yes, it's a little mouse. He puts so much yeast in his bread. Look, it makes these huge loaves. Then we go to water. How does water work for us? There's the windmill and how we can have electricity from the water with the windmill. And, you know, of course, other things that we use water for, plumbing. Then at the very end it says, well, all the busy town workers have worked hard to help their families and friends. I think it is about time to have a party to celebrate, don't you? And then it shows, of course, all, a lot of the busy town workers and their party. The end. Well, guys, I hope you like those two books as much as I do. I highly suggest buying them. I started reading these to my kids. I think my daughter was three and the other one was two and they've always loved these books and you know of course you can do fun things with them like for instance uh how to grow seeds you could plant a plant something afterwards you know and watch it grow you can make bread like they did in here um you can like i said point out construction vehicles when you're riding around point out how you're doing work all day as a mom how we're cooking and cleaning 
And same thing with this, you can point out different vehicles when you're on the road or talk about different types of trucks. Maybe even play, make your own little road and get little toy cars to play with afterwards. So it's really fun books to read, really educational, and you can do get a lot from these. And I even learned things from these books that I didn't know, like about how everything kind of worked, like, you know, like the little details. Well, thank you for watching uh, Make Every Day Colorful. I hope you enjoyed this video review of the two books. And click to subscribe if you want to see more book reviews. Thank you and have a blessed day.